starting out of the camera. I'm going to get this phone out here and say that again, today is, you see that date right there? And for you, the YouTube crowd, come on now. There, that's today's date and time and all that, all right? Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to take you through. Okay, so I've got this. It's not straight. I don't have time to level it. Come on now. So, I want to show you the history. Now, first of all, wait, where's the microphone? Where's the microphone? So, let me test this channel, that channel. There we go. Okay. So, here's that. Before I get to the bottom, put that there. Put the mouse. I'll show you. Now, I've zoomed into the thing, right? So, I've zoomed into the thing. Okay, so this is. The video I shot yesterday, uh, maybe I can zoom into that, but well, that's good enough. I shot this yesterday of me repairing uh, the gray box, which it, well, I'll show that in a moment. All right, and then here are the videos that I shot 96 views and 72 views of the gray, and then the, the unboxing of the red, and then that's some comment, and then here's the video of that. And then I want to take you through the pictures that I have. So here is the uh, service manual for the CS230. Date of issue is uh, 6 of 95. Okay. And it's got quite a few different types. So I have a ZB, which is what the gray one is, and I also have a U. Okay. And then as you go on here and look at this, let's see, here's a CS230U, which is the red one that I have here. And the ZB. Or I'm sorry, the E, wait, the, where is it? Um, yeah, the EB, which is the one I have, I don't know, I can't remember, I get all mixed up on this, but anyway, there's, this, this got, I got a whole lot of different ones for this very same model, right? And then, if we go here, here's the one I bought way back in 2008, see the date there? Okay, I got that back in 2008, and I repaired it. See, can I go picture? Yeah, I, I bought it way back when, and I've sold that one since. And then, here's another picture of the uh, the same thing. I don't know why I have this up here twice, but there it is again. Okay, and then, here is when I repaired this uh, using plastic. Is that right? Okay. Anyway, so there I repaired it. All right, can I go forward on this? Yeah, I repaired it. All right. And then this box has traveled, so it's been with me to the lake house, okay, which we no longer own. All right, well, one, two, oh, okay, so, but anyway, so there's that. And then here I am at, um, anyway, I've had this, as you can see down at the bottom, I've had this for a while, so there's what, that, this. This is the uh, picture I used for. The Boomboxery YouTube account, which is still mine. Okay, I'd like to give that back to Fat Dog if I ever, if he'd ever contact me, but I don't know. And then, what is this? Another picture? Oh, that's just a full size picture. Anyway, so I've had this model quite some time. All right, so um, that's what the documents I found. Oh, this is just all the pictures that I have of this. Let's see here that well there we are outside the here well wait can we open that up open with windows fewer so there it is there is the iowa and we're at the lake house and you can't see but anyway it's just you know how these pictures can get right so um but i have a lot of pictures here it is me taking this thing apart which wait Okay, so here, if I do this, open this, open with that, we're going to open up this one again. See, this one here had the, anyway, it's hard to explain. That's all the parts in there from when I repaired it, okay? But, yeah, so there we go. So this had a, a broken circuit board, which, I don't know if I took pictures of that. Let's see here. Um... Well, okay, when this was broken at the end, which you can't see, but these wires, 
uh, go up underneath the circuit board and they patch across and then they come up here and this is the um, the rolled voltage gizmo which normally would attach to the end and all that but uh, yeah okay and that's the belt it takes which is about a five inch belt anyway so much for that so let me get to repairing this so let me wide this camera out right wide it all the way out and I gotta move it down so you can see me and I have it moved back so hopefully you can see further so let me just come down there we go all right so that's pretty because yesterday I had this thing come on pretty much in my lap and I don't know if you all can see this or not that's my computer homemade computer there so now I want to, what I want to do is I want to play this here. And this one here is the, let's see, can you see that? This has got my infamous Zentner uh, USB powered or USB rechargeable batteries, 1.5 volts, 6,000 milliamp size. Uh, and so I'm going to play this. I want to show, okay. So yesterday I totally cleaned this. So if you put it on radio, right? And the flames went higher, and it burns, 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 the ring of fire. The ring of so that works, but you hear there's no sound in the uh, thing there. So if we flip this over to tape and we hit play on the tape, let's see. I'll show you that the tape comes out like that. This is a really old tape that I have from, I don't know where, um, but has some rather, well, Oh no, we're not okay. Forget that. Like I said, it's some racy stuff. So, but it tape player plays. It works. There's no sound. Wait, wait. Let me, let me try this. What's on the other side of this mess? Is there anything? Nothing. Okay. Uh, for those of you that need the visual, I can put this tape in here, which has got it's my test tape, okay? And again, there's no sound like there is in this machine here, which I have plugged up. And this is a, uh, okay, so now I'm going to stop playing this one because I'm going to tear into and repair this one hopefully in enough time because all this one here really needs this one here plays correctly all right so we hit play and but it's got just and that's also on the radio right so here's the radio the same channel for this the radio works fine So much for that. So that's again. If we take the tape out, we flip it over, and we throw it in. We hit play. One and two, There's me talking about something. But again, this I'm going to attempt to repair that right now. Okay. So let me put this down. Put the microphone somewhere. Okay. And just put it there on the desk. Okay. And then we're going to uh, move this out of the way. Again, the batteries are here. The battery cover is here. Okay, let's just put it on there. I just like that. Okay, so now I want to get. Now that I've made certain that this all works, I'm going to reject that. Okay, and I already know that it takes one battery in the battery compartment. So here's the battery cover for that. Okay, so we don't need that. So we need eight screws to take it apart because I have that good memory of getting us out, so, like that. Uh, we didn't, okay, didn't do it. Okay, so we'll just, so, there's one, there's one, get my, here's another one, okay, so, that's two, okay. two, and Missed it. So, yeah. Three. And 
then didn't come, that's all right. came out for the one in the battery compartment. And that came out, that's five. And this one here. Six. So we're only missing two, which is this one here. Oops. Six and one more, this one. Okay, great. So now with my previous experience here, uh, the only thing you really need to remove is the tuning knob, okay? And you open, and then of course this here, just pull that off, okay? That's the switch cap cover. And then open the cassette deck, okay? And then, let's see. hear that? There's something in this that's broken already. I don't know what it is. So, I just simply rotate this up from the bottom. Okay. There we go. We got the, the bottom open. Okay. And then it has to, you have to lift it and pull it back. Okay. So you have to lift. Let's see here. Um, it's hard to explain, but there's a there's a clip here and a clip here that this has to unclip with. All right, so come on. There it went. Okay, so let's just put it all back down again. So. This comes off like this. I know I already lost the, uh, <laughs> the little uh, stereo button, which here it is. Here's the stereo button. Wait, come here. Well, here, let me just unplug the speakers. It's a lot easier to try and to get this out. So, unplug the speakers. Take the handle off. Here's the handle. Okay. This up over here. See if we can get the. There. There's the uh, little stereo mono switch that goes on the top. This little button thing. Okay. There's that. Now what was rattling around inside? Well. Okay. So here's a uh, the little piece of plastic see that I don't know what that goes to it's got a corner on it so that broke off of something and uh, I think it looks like it goes right here <laughs> so yeah it does it goes right here so there was some kind of trauma at some point to the handle okay this this whole helps hold in the handle area so I'll save that for later, and I'll use my uh, Bondic, which I recently got, which I used right there. So there's the Bondic stuff, okay, you know what that is, right? And then, uh, so, nothing wrong with the speakers, right? We're having to simply just clean the cassette deck, okay? So, now, um, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to... All right, so I want to take this model here and get the batteries out of it yet. All right, yeah, so let's get the batteries out of it yet. Okay, right, so get the batteries out. So, that, that, this, that, this back on here. Right, and 
And then, <clears throat> now, put these batteries in here. That one there. This one here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And then put the battery cover back on. Alright, so. That's on there, so now it should work, right? It does work. See it working? I think it's working. Great. So now, you can see up here it's got a whole lot of dust up in this top here, but what we really need to do is we really need to remove the cassette deck from here, which takes two screws, this screw here and that screw there. Remove this, lift this up gently, and just remove it and unplug it from here. We don't have to unplug the tape deck, but we can. And then uh, clean the volume controls up from, up from underneath. So I'm going to do that. But I'm going to use a real screwdriver because these screws are pretty short and all that. All right, so. And because they may fall, well, that one did hold. Okay, great. So there's that one. Okay. And then here's. Oh, okay, that's been on there. Never been. So this one's hard to get to, so I'm going to just use my magnet thing to help me pick it up. There we go. So like that, like that. Now we can, yeah, can you, see, you can barely see me. All right, so you, you lift this up. They've got a little, couple little things right there. You lift that up. And you lift this up. All right. Oh, wait. Unplug the motor. Okay. There's the motor wire. Okay. Unplug that. Take this out. All right. Now we can just see. We could unplug. Well, why don't we just do that? Why don't we just unplug the the heads? All right, so unplug the heads. Pull the wire. There is a tape jack. Okay. Takes a five-inch belt. This one here is okay because it rotates everything. It is a bit. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see how the belt jumps a little bit. It could be replaced, but it still works. So I'm going to leave it alone. All right. Um, the heads on this one are dirty as well. I know you can't see that, but it's something you need to see with your own eyes. Okay, so we'll just put that over here. All right. And I'm going to get let's see here. So I'm going to get some air and a toothbrush. Let's see here. I get a toothbrush. Okay. I like where to go. Well, I like these military style toothbrushes because they have a the bent the end is bent up and it also has a pretty uh, anything like that but it's tiny okay so I like to scrub these down a little bit just gently in there and then just here and come back with the other one just try to break up some of the uh, stuff that might be on here before I shoot air all through it. Okay. And then I got some stuff up here. slowly so does this one this is the one with the issue of the sound okay so now uh see so now let's spray it with some of this stuff here so there bring it up and down it's up and down and then get some on the top
my speakers. There we are. Okay, so here. It's always good to have a pair of non-powered, non-powered little speakers here. So plug into the headphone jack. Okay. Which is right here. And then turn the radio on. Speakers, but and faster file that's all that took. Visit okay, att.com slash business to be recording or call 844 to get our best This price is the recording bar service. switch right here. This needs to have some to stuff. Times faster you know, through it, work the switch, the it's the same little switch. AT&T experts can help you upgrade to at and Business Fiber. Soon that's you're the going recording to love bar switch. This never gets moved, but all your music goes through it. Okay, so you need to, by Teological Systems, you know, 12, 20, 20. blow through it with this, okay? Do you own or rent your home? Sure you do. And I blow bet through it, it with be this hard stuff work. and work the switch. You know what's easy? That bundling there. policies with okay. Geico at geico.com. Geico also, makes it easy to bundle um, your homeowners or renter's insurance along with your auto policy. This is the main switch right here. It's a good thing, too, Watch because this, you're busy okay? enough and already have so much to do oh, around your home. Now, That's more than ever. Ridiculous. Because having a home is hard this work. This is your stereo Go to geico.com, get a quote, see how much uh, you can this save. Doesn't have it's Geico a... easy. Visit geico.com okay, today. Have... That's okay, so geico.com. And on off switch. Saving you switch a ton of money is just what we do at Freeman Toyota. Down Hello, down this here. is Dane Miner, General and Manager of Freeman Toyota. Come and get this switch. smoking deal at Freeman Toyota. Get a 2021 yeah. Camry LE for just <coughs> 29 um, a month. Or choose the Camry so LE Hybrid. This. It gets up to 55 miles sliders. to the gallon. Pencil and pay just $10 more for only $239 a month. Both are on a 39-month lease. Get lease details at 817-287-5420. Listen, come and get them. Freeman Toyota. Shop now at Freeman. Um, on the heads here. Why have North Texans trusted Carter Eye Center with their the vision for over 30 years? It's simple, really. Carter Eye Center like offers cutting-edge okay. eye care, the in latest heads, technologies uh, and laser head. vision correction, this is just and a, the latest cataract uh, procedures, uh, race head. all in a safe magnet. and healthy environment it's for you and your family. Like Call now to book your appointment and experience the Carter difference. 1-800-950-2020. That's 1 800 950 2020 or book at CarterEyeCenter.com. This is gear driven with an Ivory Tower. That's the Ivory Tower right there. Come in and check out our brand new showroom and clean up the savings on a 2021 Mazda CX 30 for just $189 a month or get 0% for 48 months. It's $750 loyalty cash on any new Mazda CX 5 or CX 30. At Freeman Mazda, we make the process easy. Handle everything online or on the phone. We'll even deliver a car to your home to test drive. Shop Freeman Mazda in Irving online. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off. Well, okay, and then this is fast forward. See the, let's see, see this gear here. It moves over to the rewind. That's the rewind. So again, rewind, and watch this gear to move over here. Moves over here and turns this one. So this is now fast forward. Okay. So again, this is rewind. This is fast forward. It's gear driven, and then play. This runs down here, engages the gear, which then turns that, which then turns the take up spindle, and you're in play mode. But the problem with these, or with some of these, is that this uh, little rubber tire will go bad or break or whatever, and then it'll still have fast forward and rewind because it's gear driven, but because when you hit play and push it down, that the idle tire is not touching the take up reel, even though it's spinning and rote and all that. And so that's so. If you can find these little idler tires, and they can be found, uh, this takes a about a 10 millimeter by 2 millimeter thick 
okay so it's only two millimeters high it's very tiny uh, but you can find them it's about a um, about a 10 millimeter ID 10 or 11 or 12 millimeter ID with an OD of about two millimeters or so so it's very tiny if you can find that and replace it then you'll be back in business playing this kind of tape deck okay so I don't know how long I've started but I know I can go 38 minutes on this camera here because I've tested that with playing it at a 7 megabit per second or 7 megabits whatever it is 7 megabits let me check the time on this camera here um, at 25 minutes okay alright so well, I, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to clean this a bit more. I'm going to remove the speakers and see if I can clean any dust. Well, okay, this has got a little dent in it, so I probably will do that. See if I can push this back out from the backside. And, um, that's about it. So I'll just clean this up, clean this up here, clean this up a little bit, and put it all back together and I may change the belt in the deck because it's 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 working but it's just a let's see here um, I just that, that's still a bit loose I don't know if you can see that but I'm just barely just barely holding it on there but that's just a bit loose it should should be a little bit tighter to work a little bit better so I'll do that and of course after all that's said and done I'll take a uh, little tiny screwdriver here, which is uh, this one here, and I'll stick it into the hole in back of the motor. You stick it in and you adjust the tape speed for, to get your correct deck. I, use it, I do it by ear. I don't have a 440 hertz test zone thing. I just do it by ear by playing various pieces of music through it, and that's how you do that. That's how I do it. Every year, what there's other people out there that do it more professionally. Fine, go for it. You know, I, I, as you can see, I don't have the test equipment. My the limits of my test equipment is uh, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> this is the limits of my tried and true test equipment right here, Radio Shack. That model, okay. So, anyway. <laughs> Finish this and then work on the JBC because that's my project for today. Alright, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll put this all back together and make another video of it outside where it should be operating on batteries to begin with, right? So good day, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I gotta go. Clean this up. Okay. So wait, I can wait. And uh, yeah. Let's see here. So somebody was asking me about. So here's that. Rotate this back around so I can see. Okay, so somebody that I, this is what I use for shooting live on Facebook. Okay, so it's a it's a camera. It's a Motorola Moto E5 Plus. Okay, I think that's right. And this is the camera I've been shooting with. This is a, um, where does it say it on here? It's a Vixia M41. Okay, that's what I used to shoot my YouTube stuff. Okay, so I'd make a two camera videos for this. All right, I've had enough fun. Good day, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.